everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living channel where we talk about homesteading and prepping and gardening and hydroponics and news that affects us and uh, we definitely believe in freedom and liberty here. So I want to welcome all the new subscribers to the, uh, to the channel and of course all the old subscribers and uh, we love the comments. Uh, we just got a, a nice comment from someone in the local area in Terrebonne and uh, love, we ask people, all of our local people, to share our videos and uh, so we can all uh, be a community together. We love to meet people from other states and we definitely love meeting people from other countries. So, the question is, yes you know, yep, it sure is another sparkling day in Central Oregon. Yes, sir, Bob. And uh, I got some very happy puppies. They're uh, doing what doing what they normally do. Beat at each other. And uh, of course, I have a guy to do my routine chores, which I know you guys are probably getting tired of that. But gotta show you the real life of homesteading. And uh, <laughs> how do we define homesteading? And that would be. We talked about it a little bit on the podcast. Um, basically trying to make your household self-reliant is how we define homesteading. There's other ways. There's legal ways of defining homesteading too. Especially in the old days uh, when people could actually uh, get homesteading property. So uh, anyway, uh, everything is looking kind of purdy out here. Uh, corn is doing its thing, and uh, I got to check all my tanks. So if you got hydroponics, plan on checking your tanks a lot, especially if you got plants in them and they're going to start drinking that nutrient. So uh, any other t thing is sometimes, especially in NFT systems, they may start leaking because you got a plant that's got some very aggressive uh, roots in them and stuff. And when we get into the greenhouse, the plants in the Dutch bucket system will drink some a lot of the nutrients. And since I've got so many plants in one system, I tend to be changing that tank almost every other day. If not sooner, sometimes just, um, since I trimmed them, uh, they've slowed, doesn't take as much nutrients, but uh, the other thing is I've been trying to put nutrients into the corn every day because they're developing their uh, ears right now and uh, uh, we're getting late in the season and I'm afraid I may not make it. So I'm giving them their vitamin C every day to help them develop their corn. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go check out the greenhouse. So the greenhouse is uh, a lot more quieter than it used to be. Um, right now they there's lots of tomatoes, but they're not ripening as fast. And I think it's because of the cooler temperatures. I do have a little hidden gem right over here, uh, ready to be pulled. Um, so yeah, getting used to the different temperatures, uh, the plants act a little different. And since we trimmed them back quite a bit, um, I think they're also going through a little bit of shock a little bit. Um, and starting to develop more on the top and to be expected. So uh, we also are getting ready to start loading up the floating rafts again, especially with the cooler temperatures. I can definitely uh, get a lot of uh, lettuce and stuff in here now. And I'm kind of excited about the new bok choy that we're growing. I've got more coming. Uh, they're on the propagator. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So uh, let me uh, check all the systems. And by the way, what do you think about the new hat? <laughs> we the people, <laughs> we the people are pissed off. Yeah, I, I, probably a lot of you guys saw that on Facebook. It's like, oh, I've got to have one of those. So uh, yeah, having a little fun. I uh, hate to say I'm kind of serious, but we are pissed. But anyway, guys, let me do my work. So based in, uh on uh, what I've been telling you about NFT systems. Uh, once again, my NFT created a leak. Why? Because of roots again. So one of my Swiss chards is so big, 
that the root system got so big in there that it actually blocked the water. So I had a little bit of water leak, so I had to pull the plant out, pull out its roots, and then I've done this several times, put it back in, and it, usually they survive, but uh, this is definitely one of the drawbacks about uh, NFT systems. Now, in the defense of the Swiss chart, uh, because I've letting it get in, gotten so big, it's kind of my own fault. I should have harvested it. But uh, anyway, it's still uh, something you need to know about NFT systems if you let things grow to full term. And uh, we just got done uh, putting nutrients into the corn, had to f fill a couple other tanks. I had to do the uh, strawberry tower tank today. And uh, so we're done with our chores there. But uh, yeah, definitely have something else to talk about. Now, uh, the title of this uh, video was We the People are pissed off. Now when I say that, that doesn't mean rebelish, uh, battlesome kind of uh, uh, approach. When I say pissed off, <coughs> I almost want to say, are you pissed off enough to start doing something about taking action for yourself, being accountable? Uh, the writing's on the wall. It won't be long before it'll start tracking us for vaccines and uh, whatever else they decide to start doing. And uh, uh, I mean, just little things like now there, there's doctors that say, well, we won't treat you because you don't have a vaccine. And it's like, OK, then why are you treating someone who's overweight? They're not taking care of themselves. Why are you taking care of people with diabetes or uh, AIDS or yeah. Uh, anything like that, uh, or a smoker, uh, you're going to start refusing them too. And so uh, it's the hypocrisy is just insane. But what can we do about it? Well, once again, I've talked about it before. Uh, one of the biggest things we got to do is make sure and vote right. Do it right. Don't do it on feelings. Do it on someone I know that will do things positive for the country. Uh, our last election, I feel like was done on emotions and like where that got us. And so, uh, anyway, um, try to put your parties aside and kind of start who's going to do the job. The second thing is definitely start being more self-sufficient, put away more food. Um, Food is almost like an investment. If you bought a whole bunch of steak, let's say you bought a half a cow right now and maybe you're paying $10 a pound. And then six months from now, beef is gonna be 16, 18, $20 a pound. Is that a good investment? Well, you look in your freezer and go, yeah. <laughs> um, you can look at food as a commodity in a sense or or asset if you want to look at it that way if that helps um of course i would suggest buying silver or gold because no matter what country you go to it's recognized and uh it's always tradable people recognize that even during hard times even if our dollar continues to crash uh gold and silver are still be a tradable commodity along with food and bullets and everything else um so no matter where you live, I know you see we got the five acre thing and stuff, but uh, I don't care if you just got a lot. You'd be amazing what you could do with raised beds. And then of course, the hydroponics. You can do this stuff in your garage. You can do this stuff in your uh, spare bedroom, in your kitchen. Um, you can actually grow a lot of food just off a porch. And uh, if you don't have the sunlight, then create the sunlight and get yourself some growing lamps. And, uh, you know, just start being a little proactive. So, uh, you know, if you make too much, learn how to freeze it. Learn how to, the only thing I haven't mastered the yard on is how to make, I wish lettuce was one of those things you could freeze and, and keep and then use later. But, uh, um, but you can do a lot of things at home. Uh, you can grow your own broccoli. You can grow some beans. Uh, you can do peppers. And uh, 
So when I say we the people, we're pissed off. Yeah, we're angry. And so the only way we're gonna fix that, who are we angry with? Well, our leaders. Well, the only thing we can do about that is wait till the time that we can change those leaders. And we need to change them and we need to step up and we need to make educated decisions of who we're putting in there. Don't vote by feelings. Vote by practicality. Will these people balance budgets? Will these people uh, uh, bring back our freedoms and liberties and things like that? Um, because the other alternative is not pretty, no matter how people might discuss it, of being a rebel and, and civil stuff and all that. It's like, uh, it's just not pretty and it's not going to work. And if you have faith, you do it with love and compassion and empathy. And uh, believe it or not, that's the t uh, greatest weapon ever, is uh, kill them with kindness. So guys, uh, <laughs> yes, we the people are pissed off, but I hope when you're pissed off that causes you to do action and positive action, doing it through voting, through empathy, through love, through compassion. And uh, uh, even though turning the other cheek on someone who's terribly evil, uh, it's still the best weapon. And uh, hard to believe sometimes, really hard to cope with, hard to turn the other cheek, hard not to be uh, um, angry to do things in, uh, that are not a benefit to your family. It's not going to do your family any good to get arrested or get hurt or get or hurt somebody. Um, all it does is uh, actually helps them with their cause. But uh, if you can fight back, not in a quiet way, but be involved in uh, organizations and communities and uh, chamber of commerces and uh, uh, churches and, and nonprofit organizations and uh, you know your voice is important to uh, if you're going against the, the radical woke people um, they still need someone to keep them in check and so your life may not be fun but it'll be reasonable and practical and you're helping but in your little way, and we got to do it on all levels, whether it's high level or low level, school districts, um, business organizations, whatever, we have to be there and uh, show our love, compassion, and be show action in a positive way. And yes, that's a hard, hard way to go, but it's the right way to go. So anyway, guys, I wish everybody a wonderful day. And uh, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. That really helps us out. We really love the new subscribers, love the new local people popping in. Uh, we urge everybody to say hello in the comments. Uh, I am planning on doing another live show next week. And uh, uh, we'd love to have you there. I'm not sure what day it is. I'm going to shoot for Wednesday. But uh, things change. Why do, and by the way, why do I choose Wednesdays? It's because Sherry, after work, goes to the uh, assisted living to visit her mom. So uh, she, uh, I don't see her in the evening, so I don't have to cook dinner and things like that uh, earlier. And so I usually will do a show somewhere around five or six on Wednesdays. So if I do live shows, so that's my goal. <laughs> so we'll see. So guys, have a great day. Be safe. Thanks for uh, watching our program and please say hello in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.